We're back in the saddle, baby. That's right. James is back with another earbuds review. Been a while. Adam took my spot. Bastard. Today, it's the Pixel Buds Pro. I'm a longtime Pixel user. I reviewed the Pixel Buds back the first one. Remember the neck buds that were connected by a stupid oh, yeah. string? Everyone hated them. Oh yeah, the, to get them in your ear, you had that stupid adjustment too. Yeah, they weren't that great. They sounded better than the AirPods though. Now we've got the new Buds Pros with active noise canceling. So this is a competitor to the Apple AirPods Pros, Galaxy Buds Pros, all the other Pros, and of course the Sony uh, WF-XM4s. Okay, here we go. It's a little egg shape kind of Aperture Lab style case. The box, by the way, is it's all paper. Even this is a is papery now. These kind of things used to be plastic, so that's great. Less plastic. Oh, cool. I really like this kind of elemental design language. They just have pictures of stuff. Like you could find this 10,000 years in the future in like a post-language world. Oh God. It's weird that it opens on both sides and then they spill out uh, two sizes on each side. It's very cool though. Thank you. Wow, these are small. The original Pixel Buds, they were big. They were almost twice the size of this. These are like the size of maybe an M&M. They're bigger than M&Ms, but I'm impressed. That's a Hall Effect sensor magnetic lid, by the way. That's a pretty satisfying good fidget toy. When you're on the bus, you're on the SkyTrain, just annoying everyone around you, but you can't even hear it because you got your, your buds in. That's living. Okay, you got a small, again, paper pull tab here for the literature. Oh, it doesn't unfold. It's just a, literally a little book. They want you to have Android 6 or greater, uh, especially for the Google Assistant stuff, the, the real-time translation stuff. Open the earbuds case and keep the earbuds inside. Tap, oh, there it is. Tap the Google Pixel Buds Pro pairing notification and follow the on-screen instructions. Speaking of the color, by the way, this is lemongrass. There are four colors, also charcoal, which is basically black, fog, which is basically blue, and coral, which is coral. Your device is ready to be set up. Let's set it up. What's going on? It's gone. Google Pixel Buds Pro connected. It's 100% battery and that's right on my home screen. Is that a pixel only thing? And what happens if I click it? Uh, if I go back to the home screen, it's gone now. So it was kind of like a toast. It was just there so I could easily access the menu. And it shows a uh, battery for right and left. And usually with this kind of product, if you hit settings, rather than having a dedicated app, oh, <laughs> Pixel Buds keep stopping. <laughs> Usually for this kind of product, instead of having a dedicated app, they'll just have the settings right in the Bluetooth menu, which is pretty cool, but it's gonna be a bit limiting. We can see which codex this thing supports. Right now it's AAC. You're not gonna get LDAC, that's a Sony proprietary one. AAC is fine. Pretty much all truly wireless headphones these days have Google Assistant. Usually you hold the button and it goes ba-dink. This though will let you hail the assistant just with your voice completely hands-free. That's useful if you're riding your bike or something. I'll agree to voice match, it's useful. My kids can't hail it. Find the best fit, okay, we're going through. This is a whole new rabbit hole. Oh damn, it's playing some cool music. It's telling you to stay still. Yes, they confirm that the seal's good. Excellent. Oh cool, if you actually enable location services, you can use that to find the earbuds. Not only can you switch the hold action from Google Assistant to active noise canceling, but you can specify which ear that happens on, so that's good. I'm gonna put Assistant on the right and noise canceling on the left. Hey Google. What's the weather like outside? 26, that's nice. All right, let's go full circle and go back to those ear tips. It's always medium that's equipped. They're smaller than this, but these don't look that large for the large ones. Man, these are small, that's crazy small. I'm gonna keep the mediums on um, and they're probably gonna give me a good enough seal because my ears aren't huge. Can you imagine having a normal proportion face but gaping ear holes? They have three microphones. You can also see that there are our wind filters over top of these mics. These three mics are beam forming. They also have voice acceleration. I'm not sure exactly what that feature means, but I do know that they use bone conduction to help know what noise is your voice and what noise is noise. Cut through the signal and noise. I believe they have like 11 millimeter dynamic drivers. There you go, there they are. And then you can actually see, if I tilt it this way, I believe that is the IR sensor for proximity so that they pause when you take them out. All right, I'm gonna do my classic insert and twist, and they really just sit right in the pina. They feel pretty flush to my head, not completely. I can still feel them there, but not bad. I think the transparency mode's on right now. Hello? Yeah, it was. They have a feature where if you pull one out, it automatically puts the other in transparency mode, which is pretty cool. 
uh, it's a it's a signal to the people around you that you're listening to them, and it's probably faster than being like, hold on, hold it down, transparency mode. The transparency mode on these is super subtle though. It's not over amplifying my voice, and it's it's not making the uh, HVAC super noticeable. Now that I put it back in, I think the ANC is completely on. I can't hear the HVAC at all. Isolation and seal is, I think it's pretty good. What'd you say? Is my phone making noise? It is. <laughs> For the controls, the interface, which is something that I'm very particular about, I like what they've done. They've done what I would call the standard. You've got one tap for play, one for pause, double for next, triple for back, hold for Google Assistant, unless you're using hands-free, and that leaves volume control. Because they're fully capacitive, you just swipe to step up the volume. I'm gonna try the interface out once I get some music playing, but I'm gonna do that after this message from our sponsor. Thanks to Secret Lab for sponsoring this video. Secret Lab chairs are designed to keep you comfortable for those long nights of work and play. Their Titan Evo 2022 series chair offers four-way lumbar support, magnetic memory foam head pillow, and is offered in different upholsteries like hybrid leatherette, soft weave fabric, and Nappa leather. Best of all, they've got a five-year extended warranty and a 49-day return policy, so you're covered if anything is wrong. So head to the link in the description and check out Secret Lab today. Let's play some tunes. All right, I'm not gonna evaluate this music right now. I'm just gonna try this out. Okay, one shot, sure shot, it, it actually paused. Here's what the delay is like. Bunk, bunk. So small delay, but that's basically what you get with these devices. Now I'm gonna try next. It looked like a triple tap, but that was actually, uh, uh, the first one was a miss. One, two, three. The little tone that it plays, when you do a double tap, it goes did it and a triple did it did. so that's nice. I got transparency mode on right now. So I'm holding down the right. Yeah, I'm just toggling transparency and A and C, I think. Do, 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 do. Yeah, okay, so both ears are doing the same thing. This music's pretty damn good though, I gotta say that. Let's try the swiping. Cause sometimes with a swipe, it'll register as a tap. That worked. That worked. And both those swipes I just did, they connected with different parts of the earbud. The first one hit the back, the next one just kind of barely hit the front. Yeah, this is working really well actually. In fact, I might go as far as to say this is the, the best capacitive kind of swiping action I've seen on a on an earphone because usually that's re you really got to make sure you hit the right spot and everything okay that one paused it I'm getting a little <laughs> getting a little cavalier with the taps though you gotta be a little bit careful but it's pretty good let's react to the music I gotta put on some tunes that I know yeah I'll say the bass is pretty low I listen to this song on a lot of different systems and the bass is definitely very like boom, boom like nice and low on this on this track, that's awesome. Now, one thing they advertise is that they've got this, this kind of dynamic EQ where basically, because your ear is more sensitive to mids and highs, bass doesn't sound loud unless you turn it up pretty loud. And so what can happen is you lose the bass, you lose the perception of the bass as you turn it down. So what these do is boost the bass as you turn the volume down so that your perception of the bass is steady. I'd say it works. I'm at like 90%. This is probably as loud as I would put it at a gym or something if I'm competing with the radio. Ah! Sorry, I just had to take one for the team and withstand that noisy volume just to see how harsh it gets when it's really loud. That sounded pretty okay. Let's test it with some electric guitar. One of my favorite albums ever. And this is the type of music that is kind of supposed to be grating. So it'll sound really grating and bad if you don't have a good system. I do find myself turning up the volume a little higher than I might on another set of earphones. Like, this is pretty close to max. Like a lot of other earphones, you've only, I only ever have to go like halfway where I'm, right now I'm at 75 or 80%. So if you're one of those deaf people who blast it, maybe these aren't for you. How about some slash? These are awesome. I think they sound great for the $200 price point. I have seen some reports online that the Sony XM4s sound a bit better, but those also cost more. These are 200 bucks. The Sonys are 280. The AirPods Pros are 250. The thing that they're really competing against is the Galaxy. Buds Pros, which are also MSRP at $200, but can be got for 180 or even around 150 on Amazon right now. So they're sitting pretty. This is a pretty compelling product, I would think. I want to test the calls though. So can we set up the fan, please? Is this meant to look like a giant knock to a fan? Did it we is. did we paint this? Yeah. Or, uh, <laughs> that's, awesome. that's awesome. This is gonna test both noise and wind. This has got to be A and C. I actually do hear a bit of a hiss over here, but let's give a. Jake smell of ants a call and see if he has any comments about this. You sound a little congested. Yeah. How's the sound? I'm calling you with the Google Pixel Buds Pros. He says it sounds like I'm calling from a phone phone. Okay, how's it sound now? Do I still sound clear? 
Yeah, I'm pointing my ear right at this fan right now. It's blowing right at me. Nothing at all. Thanks, buddy. He said that once I turned the fan on, it sounded like I was outside, that there was some kind of ambient noise, but he couldn't really put his finger on that it was wind. He said it sounded totally clear, except for when I stopped talking, there might be a little artifact there. I guess the noise suppression algorithms are, they're tweaking, right? Like they're cutting out everything when you're not talking. Then when you are talking, they're letting that in. And so it has to just kind of switch between those two states. And I guess there's a little artifact in the, on the transition. But yeah, he said he thought I was just on an actual phone, not using headphones. That's great. Battery life, you get seven hours on the buds themselves with ANC on, or 11 hours with off. And including the case, it is... And including the case, it's 31 hours with ANC off and 20 with it on. You can charge by USB-C or wireless charging, and a five minute charge into the case will give you an hour of playback. And then for the waterproof rating, the earbuds themselves are IPX4, which is pretty standard in this category of product. That'll keep you protected from splashes from any direction, sweat, if you're using it at the gym, you will be fine. The case though is IPX2 rated. So that test is actually just 10 minutes of dripping water coming at an angle uh, that is at 15 or less degrees. I think they do like four different orientations. So it's not nothing, but it, they're, they're not waterproof. Don't wear these in the shower. Don't bring your case in the shower. Don't open it up. Don't fall in the lake. One other thing, I'm not totally clear on how this works, but they advertise their active noise canceling as being called with silent seal. A lot of people get fixated on the frequency response curves, but having a good seal is gonna do a lot more to having good bass than the curve being uh, plus or minus five decibels or something like that. Now, they have this silent seal thing. I don't exactly know what that means, but I do know that they have another feature that they advertise as sensing the pressure that's in your ears and relieving that based on how it all, the environment changes. So I'm not sure if that is a subset of Silent Seal, if that's what makes Silent Seal work. And I can't really tell the difference when I'm switching between ANC and transparency modes. I, I don't feel, have like a popping or pressure in the ears. So I think as advertised, as far as that goes. So Pixel Buds Pro then, I think I would recommend them. Although caveat, I didn't show you any EQ tuning in the app or on the phone. And that's because it doesn't exist yet. They say it's coming this fall. It'll be a five band tuner. Don't buy stuff hoping for features to come down the line. Wait until the features you want are actually supported and then buy stuff. Otherwise, you'll be buying a TV and waiting for the VRR for a year and a half because <laughs> that seems to be how it goes. Ah, before we close this out, there's one other main feature that I want to test, which is the multi-point connectivity. I'm supposed to be able to be using these on my phone, and then when I switch to my laptop for a call, it'll automatically switch over as long as I've previously connected the Bluetooth on that. So I want to know how that works because it sounds like it could be annoying. So let's check it out. So now that I'm pairing with not a pixel, I actually have to use this pairing button on the case. Hold that for three seconds to let it be seen. And you can see now the button has, the light has started blinking. All right, so I got Crab Rave going. I'm going, I can hear it. I'm gonna pause it, I'm gonna close my laptop. I'm gonna grab my phone and start playing some music from here. It's coming out of the phone, obviously. Okay, it's on my phone, that's cool. The music is playing on my phone right now. I go back to the laptop. I couldn't hear this playing, <laughs> which is good, but this I don't see how this multi-point was supposed to work because it just didn't at all. Tap to open Pixel Buds app. Nothing opens. Ah! Okay, I'm gonna try one uh, last thing with this uh, multi-point thing. I'm gonna open my computer, I'm gonna start a call on it, and we'll see if it switches. I'm assuming this is ringing right now, but I still am only hearing music, so. Hello. Uh, yeah, it says the... Google Pixel Buds are connected to this laptop. I can still only hear the music. What if I pause the music? Hello, Jake? Hello. These things suck. <laughs> All right. Oh no. Wow, the isolation's like surprisingly good in this. Earbuds updated. Your case will update when you store your earbuds in the charging case for about 10 minutes. That's kind of cool. The earbuds like pass the update onto the case. But that's the Google Pixel Buds Pro. I think they're pretty cool. I think they're worth the money, but they obviously have some bugs to work out, or maybe I'm just dumb. Uh, I don't really care about this multi-point feature anyway, but it'd be nice if it did all the things that it claims to do. Thanks for watching Short Circuit, guys. If you like this video, watch some of our other earphone reviews. Sometimes with me, sometimes with Linus, sometimes with Adam. Bye.